I was going to say, metaphorically, a ducky and a horsey, but I changed my mind when I looked at the doom and gloom stuff in several of the other answers. Your question is worth several PhD dissertations and perhaps a postdoctoral research project, to boot. The environment is a hyper-complex system of systems and cycles within systems, and that's just the scientific aspects of which the beginnings of the basics we are just now being explored. We know some of the what, but we really don't know much yet about the how and why these systems and cycles work. We do know that the water cycle is a key, baseline process but given the billions of cubic miles of water on the planet we're still guessing about the dynamic processes that drive the system. We know quite a bit about the CO2O cycle, including oxygen regeneration and photosynthesis, but we're still guessing about the dynamics of the forces that drive the planetary gas envelope with a mass of several quadrillion tons. The forces driving the atmosphere cause weather, all kinds of weather, and remember this. Oxygen, while necessary for our forms of life on this rock is not the only, or even major, gas in the atmospheric mix. Then there are forces generated and fueled by our star, the Sun. We can see a lot of what happens on our star's surface and we have theories about its internal processes and the effects those processes have on the solar system, and on our rock, but most of what we think we know about the Sun is conjecture. A few things we do know. Elements are forever, can't be destroyed in the non-quantum universe and are infinitely reusable recyclable. Expendables, exist in more quantity than we know at any moment but as new extraction and refining techniques come online we find more of the expendable item or we find workaround processes and products for them. Food production is greater than the needs of even our burgeoning population. The sciences related to health and quality of life for our septa billion people natures a bit every year. Are we at universal health, happiness and prosperity yet? Nope but overall, better than ever before. Too many people are deluded enough to believe environmental science is settled science. Utter folly, we're just now discovering the tools to let us scratch the surface of the sciences involved. Phew. All of that was a mouthful, but I haven't even talked about the philosophical aspects of the environment. But that's a story for another day.